Hey folks, Mike Murphy here. In this tutorial, I'm going to get you started using ScreenFlow, which is one of the most popular screencasting and video editing software for Macs. If you're on a Windows machine, there's a program called Camtasia, which does much of the same. But this is used by pretty much everyone who makes tutorials. And it's also good if you want to take a keynote presentation and put a voiceover over it. Well, ScreenFlow will record your entire screen while you can do the audio over it. It's a very robust program. It has lots of features. I'm not going to go over all the features today in this video. All I'm going to do in this video is to get you started. So if you have a presentation or if you want to make a video, even if it's a talking head video where it's just you talking to the camera, ScreenFlow is capable of doing a lot of things. I'm just going to show you how to get started in this video, but I think by the end of it, you're going to have a pretty good idea of where we're going with this. So. When you open ScreenFlow for the first time, you're going to be greeted with this little welcome screen here. Okay, what you want to do is go to the new recording screen right here. This is going to have all of your preferences. You need to do this before every single video. Okay, if you lose this little screen right here and you don't know where to go, you want to be get familiar with this little video camera that's going to live in the top of your computer. It's in the menu bar at all times when ScreenFlow is opened. In this little video camera, you're going to be going in and out of quite a bit. But this configure recording, this is where you're going to find that welcome screen. Okay. Also in the re in this video camera, you're going to see another little handy trick here. Hide desktop icons. If you look over to my icons on the right, when I click this, everything disappears. A really handy little tip there. When you want to make a video, it's a nice idea to keep your screen nice and tidy. Also, you can record, stop and record your video at any time by clicking the record or you can learn the shortcut key shift command two. I use that shortcut all the time. So I do suggest you remembering this shortcut shift command two. Okay, let's go ahead and get this features going so you can start making a video today. In the new recording, these are the settings that you need to do record a desktop from color LCD that's usually checked. All that's saying is that everything on your screen, ScreenFlow is going to record. Okay. Record screen from this is for an iOS device. So if you plug in your laptop or your iPhone or your iPad, you can record the screen from that. It's pretty cool. Record video from the webcam. That's right. So if you want to record yourself as a talking head video, you can see here I'm using my Logitech C920. That's recording me. The light's not good right now, but if you were to set everything up right, that will be that. We're not going to do record video from the webcam on this, but that's where it is. And you can also make sure that you check this 1920 by 1080 if you're going to do that. All right, let's get rid of the video. Record audio. This is key. You want to make sure that you have your good microphone when you're recording something in ScreenFlow. You do not want to use the built in microphone or the webcam microphone. You want to use a real microphone. So check your, make sure that your microphone shows up. And when it does show up, you can see here that the levels, the audio levels are bouncing right and left when that shows that I'm live with my microphone. Okay, so we are ready to record. You can record by hitting this red circle or you can go back here to the video camera, click record. Or since we already memorized the shortcut key, we're going to do shift command two. And when I do that, you're going to see a little countdown timer. And when the timer is done, that means ScreenFlow is recording everything on our screen. Okay, so I'm going to put these back up because I have a little test thing here, but we're going to do shift command and two. We are recording. Okay, now everything is recording. You can tell it's recording because of this little black dot inside the video camera. That tells you that video is recording. If you want to stop it, you can either do the shortcut key or just click the stop record. Okay. So now we're recording. What do you do? Well, just say you have a presentation to give. Okay. This is just a bunch of stock photos. But if this was a keynote presentation right now, everything on your screen is being recorded. So when you're giving your presentation, you can go through the slides, you know, one by one, do your presentation. ScreenFlow has you covered. They're doing everything. We'll stop on my favorite book, The Catcher in the Rye. But you get the point. You can go through your entire presentation. You're recording the audio. And when you're done, you have a video that you can upload to YouTube, your website, whatever you want to do. So let's stop the video. And I'm going to show you what happens when that hap when we stop. I'm going to hit command shift two. We're going to stop the video. Screen flow opens up. So now you have this program ready to edit. Again, this tutorial is not going to edit. 
but you have a video ready to go. Just so you have a little bit of idea what's going on here, you're going to see here we have two tracks, okay? One track is the screen, one track is the audio. If I had recorded the video with me in the camera, there would have been a third track here, okay? You can just scroll through here, you can hit the space bar and that will also play your video. It's recording the video or it's going to play back the audio and the video. So when you get to your slides right here, this is a presentation. Say you made a mistake and you don't want the beginning, just you can just cut it right like that, just like any other video. Very robust. You know, say I want to start on the slide right here, just cut the middle. Make sure we got the end. You can cut on the cutcher in the rye. What a great place to end. I can just cut that right there. The audio will obviously you have to deal with the audio. That's a whole nother story. Like I said, we're not going to do the editing, but you get the point here. You have a video ready to go right now. There is going to take a learning curve to understand how to do the rest of it. But, and just one little side note, you can add logos, you can add music, you can just right over here, you can add media. So say I wanted to put something, you know, say I wanted to put my logo here. I have a logo a bumper at the end, say. You know, when I get to the end, I can put my logo or I can do, I can add music on the background or whatever you want to do. You can add it in the screen flow. You have a robust, uh, full on editor right here, capable of doing lots of things. When you're done, you want to make sure you save it. You actually want to start by saving it, but that's another tutorial. Save it in a place you're going to keep track of it. And then easy as can be publish right to YouTube. Right like that, you hit publish. It's gonna take a little while to upload, but once it's upload, you have a video live. So my name is Mike Murphy. You can find me at mikemurphy.co. I appreciate it. Leave me a comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. So long.